Hello everyone, welcome back to Shawcode, and in this video, we're going to be answering questions that you guys asked as we've just hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. And just before we get into it, I actually want to thank you guys for getting here because honestly, I never really thought I'd get here, but here we are. Thanks very much. Now let's get into the questions. Now we have quite a few questions, mostly related to programming, and the first question is about how to get started programming, and they're asking, it's a very long time since I've been programming, how should I start again and what should I learn in Python and C++ to reach an advanced level and for jobs? So to get started with Python, what I'd recommend watching is my uh, Python Basics tutorial series. Uh, they are quite old, the videos themselves aren't very good, but the content is still there um, and the explanation really clear and simple. So I'd recommend you go and watch that. But also, a really important thing is to work on some of your own projects along the way because that's how you really learn how to program, is by making your own projects. And for C++, I'm not too sure about it because I've never really delved into it myself. Uh, but you probably should just find some tutorials and then start working on some of your own stuff as well. And also, I can't really talk about getting a programming job as I am only a teenager and have never had a programming job. But if you want to learn programming, follow tutorials and then work on your own projects. And by the way, if you are enjoying this video, a like would be appreciated, it really does help me out. Thanks very much. And now we have quite a few questions about sort of my programming journey and how I got started and why I got started and things like that. So firstly we have, when did you start programming and how did you learn it so well? Uh, so I think I was around 11 years old, which is quite a few years ago now, um, and I had heard about Python being a uh, simple programming language and I was always sort of interested in computers and all that. So I just went on YouTube and searched up how to make a game with Python and I uh, actually stumbled across Sentdex's uh, Pygame tutorial series, which is, you know, it's really old now, it's, it must be like 8 years old or something. Um, but that's literally how I got started with Python. Um, it was like this game where you control the car and you had to not crash into objects or something. And from there I sort of just taught myself Python and made things with Pygame and um, I just got good from practicing I guess really. Now if you would like to learn to code yourself then be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make loads of easy simple to follow Python tutorials. So go down there and subscribe now. And the next question is how did you choose your first programming language to learn? Uh, so as I said I'd heard about Python uh, and you know, it being quite a simple language, and I just looked on YouTube for obviously the Pygame tutorial, and then I just sort of looked around more on YouTube for Python tutorials, and there we are. Python just sort of became my main language by accident, I guess. <laughs> and the next question is, what or who engages you to learn programming? Now, I don't really know what they mean by engages, but I'm just going to assume they mean what inspires me to program. And to be honest, I don't really think I do have anything that inspires me, like, I just find it quite fun, and obviously making YouTube videos, I enjoy it, that's quite a big inspiration. Uh, obviously I'm not programming like all the time, I do actually have a life outside of programming, um, but yeah, I just find it quite fun. Now moving on to the next question, uh, they asked, what is the smart move for creating GUIs in Python these days, uh, what's most popular? Now there are multiple libraries that you could use. For making GUIs in Python, you've got TKinter, uh, PyQt5, and also Kivi. TKinter is quite good for making a quick and simple program, but I would suggest using PyQt5 if you're actually serious about making one, uh, just because it's a lot more advanced and it's and it's really quite good. Uh, you could also try out Kivi, um, which I do have a tutorial series on. Um, it's mostly used for mobile app development, but you can actually use it um, for desktop app development as well. So I'd suggest using PyQt5, but you could also use Kivi if you already know how to. And finally, we've got quite a deep question. Um, they ask, what do you want to achieve in life? Again, to be honest, I don't really know. Um, my life has only really just started, to be honest, you know. Who knows where I'm going to go? Who knows, no who knows what I'm going to do? And so if you want to check out any of my programming tutorials, you can click here to learn how to make a game in Pygame. And you can click here to learn how to make mobile apps in Python. Other than that, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.